Hi guys, I'm going to start this video by addressing a controversy that has just been stuck with me for a while now. Yes, it's true. I need a haircut. Um, I really badly need one. I'm sorry. I just haven't got around to it yet because Lizzie and I have moved house, meaning making videos has been very tricky as well as getting haircuts. I don't really know what I'm talking about. So you know what helps in these times where I'm busy? You subscribing because there's going to be less videos. Wait, this makes no sense. Oh, well, let's start the video. Give me an M. Give me an E. Give me a Z. Give me an E. Give me an A. I've forgotten. I think I spelled it wrong. Anyway, welcome back to Mazelia. A lovely new day here on the Empire server. I'm here on my car looking at the palace, looking at what I still have to do, which is not much in comparison to the rest of this thing, but is still quite a lot. And I will tell you why. I need concrete and I've got the old concrete factory here. And you've seen me make concrete in this made Quite a lot of concrete in this where I just sit here, right click, left click, place the concrete, break it. However, for the roof of the Mazalian Matril Palace, I need, uh, I need a bit of concrete. And when I say a bit, I mean 218 stacks. That's eight shulkers worth of concrete and over 14,000 blocks. Yeah, it's a frightening amount. So I think it's time we upgrade to a new way of creating concrete by making something that I didn't think was possible, but actually is a concrete machine that uses TNT duping to make the concrete. But where to build this concrete machine? I've got a lot of space inside my base. However, this thing's quite ugly and I don't really want to build it in here. So instead, let's make a whole new building just over here somewhere. I don't know where to go. Mazalia has its sort of like industrial district where we have our shop and our moss factory. So maybe down here would be quite good. This would work. It would mean we have to do some terraforming, but I don't mind that. So I'm going to be following a tutorial from Logical Geek Boy. Let's gather up some of the materials we need for this thing. And to be honest, it's a lot of that, you know, general redstone stuff where you get, you know, your hoppers, your pistons, your redstone, some composters, some redstone more stuff, some redstone comparators, just redstone stuff, really. Now, before we get building that farm, let me show you a little thing I have in my inventory, and that is my axolotl. And she's called Stephanie. And why do I have an axolotl called Stephanie? Well, let's go visit Jimmy and I will show you why. Hello, King. I'm live, by the way. Just let you know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to, if you take one of these. Uh, oh, why? Stephanie? Second. Yeah, if you want to, uh, together we can have a meal with Stephanie. A <laughs> di nice dinner date. This. Yeah. Neil is bound to make me hungry. <laughs> A meal with Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, now we've had our fun. It's time to get building this farm. I have no idea how it works. You can watch the tutorial if you want to know how it works. So I will just time lapse this, I think. I have no idea how long it's going to take. Let's hope it works. It didn't take too long and we built a little storage system at the bottom so we can make a load of concrete. The basic gist of how it works is you have a machine that makes concrete and pushes it down in a big line and then you have a TNT duper which explodes that concrete and it falls into the water, goes into the chests. Now for the moment of truth. Does it work? Let's find out. I had to make some concrete powder. Let's flick the lever which should also start the TNT dupe. It's working and then I just do this. I right click and it should be exploding this concrete powder after it's turned to concrete. I'll do this full stack, then we'll find out. It's very loud, but it looks like it's working. Let's stop it for a second. And do we have concrete in here? We do. So it's not the full two stacks as some of it is still up there, but it works so quickly and so well. But what doesn't work about it is that it's very ugly. Like, look at this lovely Mazalian skyline. Then in the middle of it now, you just got this weird TNT duping thing. It's hideous. This needs to change. However, it's quite tall. And because of the TNT, you can't get too close to this bit here. Meaning a building here is going to have to be quite big. But when has that ever stopped me, eh? Guys, what is wrong with me? I think I have a problem. I'm building a really big build. In fact, the second biggest build in this area so that I can build my big build. 
And I don't even need to build that big build. I just want to build that big build so I can make it look nice. And then I can get to work on my big, big build. Confused? I am. So of course we need to gather up some materials for this. And um, I'm gonna need some more red sandstone, I think. Let's have a look in our, let's have a look in our chest here. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. What am I doing? I thought I was done with the red sandstone collecting. But I just got a message from Pixel Riffs saying he's left a note at Mazalian Records. Let's go inside here. Ooh, what's this? Mythical sausage diss track. Dear Smallish Beans, King of Azalea, Spitter of Fire, Rhymesmith, Slayer of Bars, Word Forger, MC to the Gods themselves. I require your service for an epic diss track aimed at none other than Mystical Sausage. You saw me explode in front of your very eyes. Yep, I did. Now he wants the same thing to happen to Sausage, except we explode with the sheer force of our lyrical stylings. And maybe some TNT afterwards. Nice. Okay, so he's basically giving me an IOU. The Copper King's about to go platinum, baby. <laughs> Okay, so so it seems like he wants me to write him a diss track. I'm gonna leave this here. Wait, is this pig step? Yo, not seen that yet. So that is something to look forward to for the future. We can't have Scott and Lizzie one-upping us on music talent on this server. Yeah, they wrote a musical, but have they ever spit fire? I don't think so. Also, I've just noticed that all the heads of my my servants are now salmon. When did this happen? I reckon this might be Scott. Oh gosh, has he done the ones in here as well? He he has. That, that is that is not good. Jimmy's not going to be happy with me for that. I might have to um, deal with that in a little bit. But in fairness, in comparison to what I did, I think that's fair game. We will we we will we'll get Scott back. Anyway, time to form a pile, which means material gathering montage. Bet you were expecting some epic montage music. Well, tough. You got me with my British accent. And here we are writing hi and woo in the red sand and collecting a load of red sand to make red sandstone, which we smelted into smooth red sandstone. I fixed up my shovel, then went and collected a load of gravel as well as a load of sand because I need concrete to make this concrete factory. I know. I needed a lot of magenta concrete for the roof here, so I used my new concrete machine and it works so well. I love this thing. It's about four times quicker than my other machine or something ridiculous. And also, I don't lose, like, any concrete. I have to go collect them in a weird area, which I had to do with my other machine. But this one is perfect. I love it so much, and it just works flawlessly, as you can see. I also had to collect a load of acacia wood, because when don't I? I'm sick of collecting acacia wood, to be honest with you. And I also had to collect, you know, the other stuff I normally build with, such as warped blocks, crimson blocks, and that's basically it. You can see everything in the chest here. We're ready to go. All right, so we're pretty much ready to build. I'm kind of scared. I hope I built it right and that this exploding won't blow up my build. If it does, then I'm gonna make it part of the design somehow. <laughs> I guess I should stop talking and get building. Get building a big old building as that's right, it's massive. It's the second biggest thing in our area at the moment other than the mega base, of course. And I wanted it to look like a Mazalian factory and that's what I did here. You can kind of see it's got this sort of like weird second tier, kind of similar to the old concrete factory where we've got some regular sandstone. We've added on some of the Mazalian little top roof bits and we've got a massive roof on top with loads of chimneys. Factory. So I had to pause the time lapse. So I went AFK. And um, this is what I've come back to. Who has done this? How deep does this go? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's a little hurt. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But here is the factory pumping away with a bit of shaders and also lots of floating moss around it. I hate the floating moss. That will be gone soon. But now for the moment of truth. And that is, if I use this machine... Is the TNT going to blow up any of the walls? So let's try some green concrete powder, as this is going to be one of the main blocks we build our roof out of. And also, to get up here now, how do I get up here? Oh gosh! Did I do it? No. So, here, I believe. Please don't blow up anything. Bam! Let's go. I'm just going to do it all and hope that it works. Next time I do this, I need to remember to turn the sound down. But... The question, is there any holes in any of the walls? There is not! Yes, that is a success. I need to find a way to get up there, but everything else is a success. Look at all that green concrete. I'm just going to leave that in there for now. But when I went to go make the sand, I noticed at my house some signs. Hey, Joel, come over to the Greenlands for a drink. Meet you at the inn in the brick square. Okay, let me grab some rockets. Hopefully, Fwip won't mind that I, for some reason, carry around 
one of his heads in my chest. But let's go see him. Where is the inn? Oh my gosh, this place is crazy. This looks bricky. Is this an inn? <gasps> Ooh. We ran out of drinks, went to the Mifflan Tavern. Oh my gosh, Frip. How far are we going? I didn't realize how many pubs we had on this server, but which one is the tavern? Is that a tavern? That could be a tavern. A lot of sausages builds look like taverns. This is a map room. One of these has got to be the tavern. Is this a tavern? The Iron Wolf Tavern. Nice. Sorry I missed you. Did you see the sign in the never on your way here? I didn't go through the never. Okay, whip. Where is Sausage's portal? Jimmy's portal's here. I'll just go to this. This has got to be close by. Do I have to search the whole never area? All right, whose portal is this? This is Catherine's portal. I think the only thing to do is to find Sausage's portal somewhere, but I have no idea where his portal is. I just heard a portal in Sausage's house. Aha! Let's hope that it's outside here. Oh, it leads up to the never roof. This is Fwip's gold farm. I am very lost right now. We've come out Jimmy's portal, so I'm so confused. Fwip, what is this? I just wanted a drink. Right, I'm going to fly back to Fwip's and head through his never portal to see what happens there. Because his never portal is very easy to find. There's torches. Do I follow them? Doesn't seem like it leads to anywhere nice. Wait. I've just spotted a sign. Oh my gosh, that was hard to find. I've been looking around this entire area. That's Jimmy's portal. Sausages was down there hiding. What does this one say? Oh, sorry. I meant on the roof. Wait, what? Wait, the roof of Sausage's tavern. I'm on the roof of the tavern. I can't see anything. What does he mean, the never roof? Let's head to the never roof. There's a hole here. Or is this just where they got up? Oh, it just says roof access. There's a sign here. You found me. I left a present at Catherine's village fountain. Oh my gosh, we're all over the place today. This present, I better have rockets whip. Because I've used about two stacks trying to find these signs. All right, Catherine's village fountain. This is a village over here, isn't it? Where's the fountain? Is that a fountain? That could be a fountain. No, that's the tribute thing. That's a fountain. Okay, that's got to be it, surely. That's got to be the right fountain. All right, well, I've checked under the fountain. It's not there. Does Catherine have multiple village fountains? That's the question. All right, there's another fountain here. And look, I've just found it. What is this? Oh my gosh, these coordinates. Wait, how long is this thing? 1264390. I'm going to have no rockets left. Why are we back at Fwips? What on earth? His base is looking cool, though. Oh my gosh, it's literally on the other side of his base. <gasps> Whoa. What? You thought it was the horses, huh? Never roof? Wait, what? Ah, oh, I'm gonna kill these stupid horses. The horses are dying, I don't even care if it's not the prize. At least I can get some joy and some frustration out of using all my rockets on this whip. This was the present. It's actually pretty good, I do like killing horses. That was a lot of fun. Look at all them heads. I don't know how to get to the never roof whip. And I was on the Never Roof and there was nothing there. I, it spent, took me ages to find that one sign. I'm, think, I'm starting to think this is a prank. Because I cannot, for the life of me, be bothered to waste more rockets going to the blubbing Never Roof. Oh, you and your cool looking base, you stinky fella. I'm just going to head home. At least we can display our horse heads in here. I messaged Whip saying there is no chance I'm heading back to the frigging Never Roof Whip. I've killed the horses and left with my 24 remaining rockets. And he just told me... The sign on the roof was just, I'm horsing around. It was just the horses. So, good job I didn't do that, Fwip. You stinky boy. Do you want a diss track again? I have a few of them notes and stuff lying around in here. But, to be honest, in case one of them's another scavenger hunt, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to do it next episode. Where, hopefully, we will be building our roof. As well as some other stuff. But unfortunately, guys, that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.